Hello and welcome to Infinity. I recently introduced the HSL uh, separation uh, macro and method whereby you can separate a layer into its hue, saturation and luminosity layers. And I was asked by a few people, can I show me a few more things that you can do with this? So here's some thoughts. So first of all, you should have Dave's color models in your library. If you don't know what that is or what the library is, then look to the um, search in, in YouTube for Dave's color models or click on the link below. Now I'm going to apply this. I've got this layer selected. Click on HSL. It's going to take a long time, at least a couple of minutes. So you might want to go and have a cup of coffee whilst it is thinking about this. Don't click on escape or anything which will make this box disappear, but it will carry on calculating anyway. OK, here we go. Now, the first thing I'm going to show, I'm actually going to turn this one off because I'm just going to go to the original image here and say, suppose I wanted to select this stone here. So I go to the selection brush, make sure that snap to edges is selected and paint around this here, hoping it's going to find the edges. You can see it's shooting over the edge all over the place. I can you know, alt click to try and reverse it, you know, and it, it starts to get a bit awkward because it starts to go in, then I'm putting it's going back out again and it's getting rather fiddly. So I've hit control D on that. Turn on the top layer here again, open this up and open it up again. You can see I've got hue, saturation and luminosity layers. And I can investigate each one of these to see which of these is best for selection. In other words, which has got the best contrast, best edging. I'll click luminosity and that's not great, is it? Because that's going to fall off and also because it's black and white. The saturation layer is better, but you're going to get some problems around up here. But when I come to the hue, look, that stands out really well. So I can click paint directly onto that or I can even if I've got the original layer I just need hue to be selected and now when I paint on this it's going to select a lot better. It is going to shoot out in a couple of places but I can just alt click on those and it's much better at getting back in to the original. Now because I can apply a selection to any layer I could for example go down to luminosity, get curves and I can now adjust with that, say the darkness of that there, because it's just picked up that in the mask, Control D to get rid of the marching ants, and I've made that adjustment there very easily. What else? If I go say the saturation layer, if I want to add some extra layers in with that to do things, I can want it to put them together so they all act as one. So I just turn it into a group. So I can go to arrange group or just hit Control G and now I've got this group with this inside it. So now for example if I want to make the saturation um, make it more saturated I could paint white directly onto this layer but it's that's destructive so it's better to put in an ax a pixel layer above that there and then paint on here. So I could paint a get a, a paintbrush here Painting white, and if I say I want to just let's make things inside this frame a bit more saturated, you can see that you've immediately made that brighter there. But it's a bit harsh, it applies quickly, and I've got an opacity of 20% on this. So I can blend that in with, say, an overlay, and then I can paint further onto it to make that more saturated. And I could put other things into there as well. So there you go. There's a couple of extra things that you can do with this luminosity layer as well. As that's a separate black and white layer, you can do things like noise reduction on just that. You can do sharpening. You only need to do it on that layer. So you're not going to affect colors because you've got the color separated. Also, because you've got this H&S group, if you want to do any color changes, you can apply that and it will affect both the hue and the saturation together. So there you go. There's a few more things that you can do with that separated out hue, saturation and luminosity thing. Anyway, there you go and thank you very much for watching.